use today I'd like to use the the example in the workbook and one of these. Okay. So we can run a situation like maybe put the one of the things that, uh, that you picked on the chart and mm -hmm. kind of run that through in real in real time. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm gonna, I want to give a little history. The wheel came first because originally um, generation this is generation 18. Mm -hmm. So generation one I made from a molecule set okay. that I connected and, and kind of thought okay. If I was to think of a belief system, what would what would mine look like, or what would you know a, a cult belief system look like? So then I just labeled them, and then I interconnected how the molecules connect, sort of like how this is connected, and then it sort of more from there. I went from there, and then it went to a, like a, a two or three step process, and I used that for years. And I thought something was missing, and then I, I went to um, when I had the total fitness, it's like I hired a business coach. He, he measured, you know, told me you got to test, measure, and tweak. And I said, test, measure, and tweak. Why is that sticking to me? And I put it in a puzzle box. You know, I'm picking all these pieces up, and I'm just, I don't know how they're going to work yet, but I put them in the box, and I just leave them alone. But eventually, you got to jump out the pieces and look at what you have. That's that's part of the feedback part, right? Okay, I got these pieces. How do they fit together? And I. So I had the thought, feeling, and behavior part, but I didn't have the other two. But the test, measure, and tweak kept coming to my mind. Like, you know, that's because that's what we constantly do. You do that in business, you do that in life. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to um, institute or in, in, import those two ideas, which, okay, so the testing is sort of the, like this measuring part of it. And then you have um, the, the measure is sort of like, okay, I've tested it, I got this thing, so what? Now I got it. That's the feedback, right? So you have the outcome, which is, okay, I got this thing, and then the measuring component was, okay, now what? I've got this thing, so what? What happens now? What, what do I do? How do I? And that's sort of, that's when you start questioning things. And that's so, I thought, man, that's what's missing. So then I added that, and now I had all my five steps. And then I thought, you know, over the years, I thought, okay, I keep talking about feeling, feeling, oh, you know, you got to sign a feeling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, psychologists talk about feelings, and behavioral therapists talk about feelings. But no one ever identified what a feeling was. And so that began the journey of, okay, on my flat piece of flow chart, mm -hmm. I actually, because I had five arrows that kind of looked like this, they were in a, in a eight and a half by eleven. It was a landscape format, so I could fit everything on there. Mm -hmm. And on from there, it was. I'm going to remove the feeling arrow and actually put a box instead. And that box is going to contain the most common feelings that we express more often. We have thousands of thoughts and feelings, but. To try to identify every single one, the wheel would be massive. Sure. Number one. And two is like, but well, what are the ones that we commonly use a lot? And then if you get those common denominators like we were talking about last time, the, the one thing or the essence, mm -hmm. then you can start splitting them even split the hairs a little closer, making it making the pizza really tight slices and throwing the cousins in there. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to. Like, I don't have frustration on here, but annoyance is pretty close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, All right? Mm -hmm. So it depends on what label you decide or what term. So I picked the, the, the 22 most common feelings. And common, how did you get the, how did you get Based on my thinking, other people's thinking, gotcha. just listening through, through um, sessions and the, not only the personal training sessions, um, but also the, the sessions I meet with people and listening to the words that they choose, angry, frustration, I'm annoyed, okay. I'm happy, I'm grateful, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm feeling love right now, I'm giving you love. Mm -hmm. So those, those is what I started going by. So they're, they're, it's not the ones I pick myself, okay. but it was more of the, how did we, you know, come to these 22 emotions. So there, everything that I have is real from the emotions 
to the examples in this book that I give, they're all real. As a matter of fact, the last, um, the fear example is actually my daughter. That's her, her example. Okay. So all these examples that are in this book are real life client examples. Of course, I can't put the names on there, but um, one, some, one of them is mine. The one, my daughter, my wife's in there. Um, clients, comments. I mean, it's just 22 of them, of course, because there's 22 emotions, so there's one for each emotion. And so, um, so I try to make it as real as possible. Hardly anything is made up. And uh, actually, nothing's made up. Even the research behind the theories I use are my interpretations of what the research results came from. And people can, I cited them, so if they want to pull up the article or the book or whatever and want to learn a little bit more, that's up to them. But if it's there, I do have a glossary in the back. Mm -hmm. So it, it identifies the uh, glossary of every single emotion in that book. And the glossary is set up based on the, the way that the emotion is set up. So the wheel actually goes from love down to fear. So if love was on top, fear would be on the bottom, and then every single emotion would follow underneath. We feel all these emotions at point, but the key thing is, is identifying where you live on the scale. That, that is huge. If you could do that, honestly, then that would You've learned a lot right there. Yes. So there you go. In a nutshell, first step, um, workbook, wheel, enjoy. Show your game.